His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chief of the U.S. Naval Operations, Admiral Lisa Franchetti at Dibia Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the bilateral relations which are cemented on strategic partnerships and memoranda of understanding across various fields, the most recent of which the Comprehensive Security, Integration and Prosperity Agreement. His Royal Highness noted Bahrain's commitment to continue building on the strategic bilateral partnership to achieve shared aspirations, including upholding regional peace and development efforts. His Royal Highness commended the pivotal role of the U.S. alongside allied countries in consolidating the foundations of peace, security, stability and development in the region and the world. Regional and global developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. The commander of the Royal Bahrain Naval Force, Rear Admiral Ahmed Mohammed al-Bin Ali, and Deputy Commander for Flotilla, His Highness Staff Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman al-Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Senior Presidential Advisor and Special Envoy for International Finance and Private Sector Investments of Ghana, Kenneth Nana Yao Aforiata, at Gdabiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of further developing Bahrain-Ghana relations by creating mutually beneficial development and investment opportunities in line with the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness reiterated the importance of bolstering bilateral cooperation in various sectors, particularly the financial and investment sectors, and advancing joint coordination to benefit both countries and their peoples. Regional and global developments and issues of common interest were also discussed. For his part, the advisor expressed his appreciation for His Royal Highness's commitment to strengthening Bahrain-Ghana ties, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs Hamad bin Faisal Malki also attended the meeting. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, made a statement on the occasion of the World Environment Day marked on June 5th, which comes this year under the theme Land Restoration, Stopping Desertification, and Building Drought Resilience. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain is keen on continuing to implement many national initiatives and projects in various environment, climate, and development fields in line with its commitment to all international agreements and treaties on environment protection and wildlife. Life. His Highness stated that Bahrain's marking of World Environment Day is in line with the royal directives and visions of His Majesty the King to address environmental and climate issues as one of the most important pillars of sustainable development as Bahrain contributed through its cooperation with the Regional Office for Western Asia's UN Environment Program to completing many projects aimed at combating all environmental and climate issues. He hailed the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on environmental and climate projects and initiatives launched by the Kingdom, which stems from its commitment to protecting the environment and combating climate change. His Highness asserted Bahrain's full support to Saudi Arabia's efforts to host COP16 in Riyadh, noting the importance of solidarity and shared responsibility among all world countries to protect the environment and support initiatives, programs and projects aimed at increasing green space and development. In the presence of the Representative Council Speaker Ahmed Lamsalam, the Chairman of the Sunni Waqf Council, Sheikh Dr. Rashid Al Hajri, inaugurated the Muharraq Occasions Hall in Isaya. Dr. Al Hajri affirmed that the Royal Directive reflects the 25th years of achievement during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King in supporting development projects and places of worship. The hall was inaugurated in implementation of the Royal Directive and as part of the vision of His Majesty the King to develop Muharraq City. The Minister of Finance and National Economy and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Mumtalakat, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met with the Managing Director and Group CEO of M42, Hassan Jassan Limdois. The Minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness on supporting promising vital sectors that contributed to the economic development to increase growth and achieve aspirations and goals. He noted the importance of continuing to build on the initiatives and strategies that contribute to achieving the desired economic growth. The minister highlighted the strategic partnerships between Bahrain and the UAE in various fields and the keenness on bolstering cooperation with various effective private sector institutions, including M42. He noted the importance of exchanging experiences and learning about the latest technologies in various promising sectors.
The Minister of Finance also met with the senior advisor to the President of Ghana and Special Envoy for International Finance and Private Sector Investments, Ken Foriata. The Minister of Bahrain's keenness on strengthening financial and economic partnerships with various countries by utilizing its investment attracting gains in various economic sectors. He noted the importance of building on the outcomes of various partnerships and enhancing them to achieve aspirations. He also highlighted the relations between Bahrain and Ghana and the development and growth they witness in various fields as well as the mutual keenness on strengthening them to achieve common goals and aspirations. The two sides reviewed cooperation and means to bolster it. The Minister of Labour and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil Ahmedan, headed Bahrain's delegation to the 112th session of the International Labour Conference held in Geneva, Switzerland. The Minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness on participating annually in the conference, which gathers the three production parties at the international level. The conference discusses the most prominent labour topics to apply the best practices for treating issues in the labour market. The Minister asserted that Bahrain has made significant progress in developing the labour market and its experience experience is considered a successful model internationally, as national legislations adopted in Bahrain are in accordance with international labor standards. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rowan Tawfiqi, announced that registration for the national program Lama has opened in line with the directions of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to engage a bigger number of young and creative talents in the program. The minister added that the Lama Association announced that public and private sector entities will also be invited to nominate outstanding young employees for the program. Lama program registration opened from the 4th of June until the 22nd of June this year. The National Lama Project comes annually under the organization of the Ministry of Youth Affairs with the aim of creating youth leadership ranks and it is the first leadership project that integrates the needs of the private and public sectors together to advance national outcomes and initiatives. More on this report. On a journey towards a promising future, the Lama National Project stands as a beacon that illuminates the paths of Bahraini youth and hone their skills to become leaders who write success stories. The project provides intensive training programs that develop young people's leadership and management skills and enhance their abilities in the areas of communication and problem solving. Lama also provides young people with the opportunity to build a strong network of relations with their counterparts from various fields, which helps them exchange expertise and experiences and opens up new horizons for work and professional development. The project is a real investment in Bahrain's future as it qualifies its youth to be inspiring leaders who contribute effectively to the nation's comprehensive development process. It also keeps pace with the rapid development and the changing needs of the young people, making it a sustainable project that contributes to building distinguished future generations. With Lama, Bahrain's horizon is full of creativity and innovation, and its promising future is built by inspired youth who are ready to make a difference. In the presence of the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa, the Customs President, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials, the Governor of the Eastern Province, Prince Saud bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, inaugurated the new procedures point and passenger lounge on the King Fahad Causeway. The project is considered one of the outcomes of the solidarity of all concerned parties and the King Fahad Causeway through digital transformation and leadership and sustainable mobility at all times in order to achieve excellence.